Alright, Bell chapter 48. This one talks about Zion. He's, of course, in Jerusalem today. The city of our God is, of course, Christ. A song, it says, A song, a psalm of the sons of Korah. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And the city of our God, who's, of course, uh, is of course uh, Jerusalem. His holy mountain, beautiful in, ele in elevation, is the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, which is Jerusalem, uh, in the far north, the city of the great king. Within her citadels, God has made himself known as a fortress, or very mighty, and that he will always guard Jerusalem forever. For behold, the kings assemble, they, come, or they came on together as soon as they saw it. They were they were astounded or like they were astonished about, about how big Jerusalem was. They were in panic. They took to the flight because they were so afraid of how big it was. They didn't, they, they didn't know how to take it, so they got scared and they, and they ran away. Trembling took hold of them there, anguish as a woman in labor. By the east wind you shattered the ships of Tarshish, which is of course Spain today. As we have heard, so have we seen. And the city of the Lord of hosts, and the city of our God, which God will establish forever. God said, God will always protect Jerusalem no matter what. We have thought on your steadfast love, O, o Lord. I'm saying, it says, we have thought on your steadfast love, O God, in the midst of your, temp of your temple, as your name, O God. So your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Let Mount Zion, or Jerusalem, be glad. But the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your, because of your judgments. Walk about Zion or, or Jerusalem. Go around her, number her towers, consider well her, her ramparts, go through her citadels, that you may tell the next generation that this is God, our God forever and ever. He will guide us forever. So 48, mainly about just talking about uh, the city in the city of Jerusalem, about how God will always protect it no matter what. Uh, God will always protect Israel as well as Jerusalem. He will protect Jerusalem forever. So, um, especially think about it, if you live in Israel, you got nothing, you got nothing to really worry about because God's going to protect Israel no matter what, as well as Jerusalem. So, if you live in Israel or Jerusalem, I mean, you pretty, I mean, you will be safe because God will protect you no matter what. So it's 48, and um, 49 will be next.